It's like the bulbs are shining. It's not the light coming from the bulb, because behind the bulb there is electricity. We all know the electromotive force are electrons and uh, positive and negative energy that makes the light glow. Same thing, the body is like a bulb. That electricity has to come from the astral body, prana. And that comes to nadis, physical as well as astral. And there are major nadis, are 72,000 nadis. Uh, Ch Chinese call it meridians. And they use various needles and pins on the meridians to increase the pranic flow or reduce or shortcut the pranic flow. So there is a system, an energy system in your body that's called prana. And you have to recharge this particular system just like you feed your body with the chemical substance like uh, carbohydrates, fat, protein, minerals and vitamins. These are the chemical things. Body absorbs to a certain amount of prana from these material things, from the food, water, air and the sunlight. Sun, sun, sunlight. But that is mostly the chemical nature. But even the chemical food contains prana. They are dead food, like in the meat, chicken, etc. They are dead. There is very little prana. But in life, the plants, like that, the shining of this beautiful plant, you can see how beautiful that flower shines. That is radiation of the prana. And uh, you just give to a person, a sick person, or a loved one, a, plant, a flower. So one simple flower rose, a real flower. It changes the vibrating level because there is tremendous prana and the prana of the body also will change according to the nature of the prana, life force coming from that. That's why we give flowers to a sick person or on a birthday, etc., anniversaries, we bring flowers. Suppose you bring flower, the ordinary flower, you brought a plastic flower. Your husband gave you plastic flower during the birthday. Have you given plastic flowers in a birthday? He only gives real flowers, is it not? Huh? No? <laughs> <laughs> well, when he was, he gave real then. <laughs> so anyhow, flower comes, and that time you are happy. But a plastic flower you give, you are not happy. Because there is no flower dead. Same thing, food also. The live food, like vegetables, that is the only source of prana for us, plus air we breathe, and little from the sunlight. So this electric force coming, electrical energy coming from the material things, and especially by breathing, that's why yogis concentrate on the breathing exercise. So your body contains two types of energy, you call it static energy and kinetic energy, or the energy we call it in a suspended state or in an active state or dynamic state. A simple example is this water is made up of hydrogen, oxygen, you know, H2O, so also ice. And the ice is very static, its motion, its energy is very limited because it's condensed. These atoms are not vibrating. But when it comes to the water state, if you bring that water from a river to a <coughs> dam and convert it into a small area and divert it to a small area and bring it, it can turn to the turbines and gen generates electricity. We know that. So in the ice state, it cannot do. So the water is subtler than <coughs> the ice. That's called energy in a dynamic state, but still it's not completely dynamic. When you convert that into steam, then it has got more power than the water in liquid state. So you can see steam engines and all other things run by the steam. And still the steam itself is not still dynamic, fully dynamic, dynamic state unless it has been converted into original state, hydrogen, oxygen. And in the hydrogen, very powerful explosion takes place and oxygen burns the fire more brilliantly and powerfully. 
and still it is not powerful enough unless it still changes in original state the purest form of wave is called atomic theory that hydrogen atom is destroyed or brought together it become either come you call it nuclear reaction and at that time you create nuclear bomb hydrogen bomb sometime you bring the you combine the matter at that time you call it the energy release is powerful so also when you break an atom we all know you create tremendous energy and this piece of metal is cross static but still it's vibrating in all any scientist it moves but the motion is very limited we can't see it for us perception it is solid so solid liquid etc is only our perception but it's all vibrating but our vibration in a very low state we call solid but when you convert that solid into don't worry about that just leave it alone the electron is trapped the energy when it's been converted into real dynamic state that mass contains enough energy to blow up the whole new york by using the formula e equal to mc squared energy is mass mass is nothing but energy but when it's multiplied by the speed of light and multiplied by itself using that formula this piece of matter contains enough energy to blow up a huge city therefore it's everything so in a static state it has got no power but in the kinetic state kinetic state is more powerful same thing with us also the prana exists first of all the two types of prana energy chemical energy like the a car car contains a combustion chamber and that pet- petrol gasoline is converted into er- energy to so that the motor will start functioning and that it is up that energy is applied on the wheels to the gears so the car moves we all know that that's called chemical nature but also there's the electrical energy a battery which also use we use to start the car where the motor turns so that um, uh, dynamo Uh, can be recharge uh, 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 dharma can be used to to start the engine and then light heat electric uh, radio tape recorder many electrical gadgets are there in your car they are not chemical they are all electro electrical in nature and so the two types of energy in a car chemical as well as electrical and um, the chemical combustion is depending upon the the electricity which comes the spark plugs and then gives the energy enough to burn that gasoline we all know that simple technique it's like this lamp is burning because of combustion so also our muscles are actually chemical in its nature motion and so there is sugar in our system what you call glucose when it starts like a bread etc it's been converted into glucose means easily soluble water uh, material carbohydrates made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen we all know when you put that piece of bread in the water it doesn't dissolve but you put sugar sugar dissolves sugar also carbon hydrogen oxygen but the starch is also carbon hydrogen oxygen but it's not dissolved because it is not made into smaller uh, water soluble molecules that's called digestion so when you chew that bread your saliva converts into water soluble molecules you call it a glucose and it goes again further in the stomach again is converted into water soluble uh, sugar is stored up in the liver and then liver sends that sugar into the our glucose into the into the blood stream so there is a balance between the blood sugar in a blood sh- sugar in uh, and the liver sugar and whenever blood sugar is depleted by using the muscles as we do and in combustion that's what oxygen inhaled oxygen is coming through the lungs and the brought and the muscle uses the carbon hydrogen oxygen and then the energy is used to move my muscles just like in a piston or an engine in your car 